Hello again, this is Mr. Montgomery. This video is for my Physics 1 students, and today we're going to be working with springs. That each different spring has its own unique spring constant, meaning that the more you want to stretch this spring, the more force you need to apply. So the way we're going to perform this experiment is we're going to take each of our springs, and the first thing we're going to do is measure its original length. I'm going to be measuring just the coils of these springs, not the little loops on the end, because only the coils are going to be changing in length. And as long as we do it the same way every time, that's going to be fine anyway. So we're going to measure their original length. We're going to add some mass. That mass is going to cause the spring to stretch. And then we want to measure that stretched length as well. So that once we have those two values to find the change in length, we'll take that stretch to length minus the original. When you look at your data table or your lab handout, the second data table is where you're recording this change in length. On the first data table, you're going to record the original length and each of the stretched lengths. Now, the math behind this is that when we apply this mass and it settles out here after it you know, bounces around for a moment, but once it settles out, the force of this spring is equal to the force of gravity. The weight of this mass is equal to the force of the spring. So mg is going to equal kx. So on that second data table then, when you are calculating the force being applied, the force is simply the weight of the mass that's being applied. So that mass times acceleration due to gravity. Now, in order to solve for the k values, you're going to need to make a graph for each individual spring. And that graph is going to have the force versus the change in length. And the reason for that is that if the force is equal to kx, the force of a spring is equal to kx, then the force of that spring divided by x would be equivalent to k. And that's exactly what you're going to have when you find this slope. The slope will be force divided by the change in length. And so for each spring that you're using, the three different springs, as well as the elastic band and rubber band, you're going to create a graph in order to find the k value. Once you have that k value in your questions, you're also going to be asked to solve for what is the potential energy. So when you add one kilogram to this spring and it stretches the entire thing out, you'll calculate its potential energy using Hooke's law, that the potential energy of a spring is k times x squared over two. So you will be using the stretched distance here, use the x value for the one kilogram mass when you get to that question. All right, so let me get everything set up and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work. Let's take a look at our materials and my setup. You'll see I have my pendulum clamp here. This is convenient. These little hooks allow me to hang the springs off of each one. And then when we hang the mass, we'll be able to come back, measure its length there. But it's just hanging from our ring stand clamped onto our tabletop. Make sure that you print out your lab handout if you haven't done that already so that you can record each of these links that I'm going to be calling out. Uh, we're going to measure the links with our ruler over here, meter stick. We have our masses as well as I have my elastic band and my rubber band. You can see this rubber band is really three strands that I have braided together right here. Just to make it stronger, one strand wouldn't be strong enough by itself. I've tied these little loops onto the end so that I can hang the mass on one end, hang the other end from the spring scale. When I make my measurements, I'm going to be measuring in between these knots right here. That's the portion of the rubber or the elastic that will actually be stretched out. So let me get this first one set up and I'll start calling out some links for you. I'm going to start by measuring these original links. So for the red spring right here, we have an original length of 27.1 centimeters, 27.1 centimeters. Now I'm going to call these measurements out in centimeters. You're ultimately going to need them to be in meters. So go ahead and convert those as you're recording them. So 27.1 
for example, would have been 0 0.271 meters. Now, on my white spring, I have a length of 27.4 centimeters. 27.4 centimeters. For the blue spring, 27.5 centimeters. For my elastic band, again, I'm measuring in between these two knots, 25.5 centimeters, 25.5. And then for my rubber band, braided rubber band here is 24.0 centimeters, 24.0. All right, so let's get those set up and we'll start adding some masses. We're ready to add mass to our springs. Now what I'm gonna to do to make this go a little bit faster is I'm going to take the 500 grams and I'm gonna use the 500 grams on each object first. Then we'll come back and use a 750 on each one and work our way down. That way we're not switching back and forth on masses. So. As I get ready to measure this red spring, 500 grams attached to it, we are at 39.0 centimeters, 39.0, and move that over to the white spring, white spring, 500 grams, 35.4 centimeters 35.4 coming to the blue with our 500 grams we're at 38.2 centimeters 38.2 now I'm going to take my elastic band and my rubber band hang those up here Switch my 500 grams over to those as well. So elastic band with 500 grams is at 39. Point, what was it? 40.0 centimeters. 40.0. Now my rubber band with five. Hundred is at thirty thirty three point zero thirty three point zero. All right, so now we'll switch over. And use seven hundred fifty grams. Around seven fifty grams. Measuring my red spring at forty eight point six centimeters. Forty eight point six on the red. Transfer this to the white. Notice the white doesn't stretch as far as the red. It's got a larger spring constant that you're going to be finding. On the white, 41.4 centimeters. 41.4. I'm looking at a little bit of an angle. You might honestly have a little better view of this from the camera's position than I do, but I'm trying not to get my head in the way of the camera. So on blue, with 750 grams, 46.2 centimeters, 46.2. All right, now we'll hang our elastic band and my rubber band. Transfer to the elastic. 750 grams with a length of 49.5 centimeters, 49.5 centimeters on elastic. And then for a rubber band, we have a length of 39 of 
40.0 centimeters, 40.0. All right, now we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna to switch to one kilogram. So now I have one kilogram or a thousand grams dangling off the red spring. So to measure its length, we are at 58.5, 58.6, let's call it 58.6 centimeters on the red. Try the white. With a length of 47.5 centimeters, 47.5. To the blue. Blue spring now with a length of four, or let's say 54.3, 54. Take that back, 54.5 centimeters, 54.5. Get our elastic and rubber band ready here. one kilogram on my elastic if I can get it on the loop. Elastic band and one kilogram 54.0 54.0 centimeters and rubber band might be wondering when this thing's going to break. Hopefully it doesn't. Rubber band with one kilogram, 48.6 centimeters, 48.6. You might notice this rubber actually stretches a little longer, a little longer, the longer you kind of leave it hanging there. All right, so that's one kilogram. Next, we're going to be ready for 1.25 kilograms. So we're at 1.25 kilograms, and our red spring has a length of 68.2 centimeters, 68.2 on the red. Have to slowly take the tension off of this spring instead of just yanking it off. You don't want a spring shooting across the room over here. All right, so for our white, Spring, we are at 53.8 centimeters, 53.8 on the white. Blue, kind of slowly let that mass down there as well so it doesn't end up bouncing around while I'm trying to measure it quite as much. 62. We'll call it 63 62.9 centimeters. 62.9. Maybe 63 is close. Alright, get our other two ready again here. Get this loop opened up. I can transfer our mass. Let it slowly stretch there. Alright, so our elastic. 1.25 kilograms we are 56.2 centimeters 56.2 centimeters and we'll apply this to our rubber band here slowly let it stretch itself out We are at a length of 54.7, 54.7 centimeters. All right, so one more to go, 1.5 kilograms will be next. 1.5 kilograms or 1,500 grams on our red spring here. You can tell it's stretching quite a bit and it'll help if I don't use inches this time. All right, so we are at 77.6 centimeters, 77.6 centimeters. And this on our white spring. 
I went patriotic with the red, white, and blue there. On our white spring, we were at 59.6 centimeters. 59.6. And then for our blue spring, we are at 70.6. Four centimeters, seventy point four centimeters on the blue, and let's hang these elastic and rubber bands for one last time. And hopefully this doesn't end up off the view of your of my screen there. We are at 57.4 centimeters, 57.4 centimeters on the elastic band. And then for the rubber band, hold your breath here. Let it stretch itself out slowly. We are at a length of 58.8 centimeters, 58. Point eight centimeters. That does it for the experiment portion of this lab. Remember what we talked about at the very beginning. What we just measured were the original length and the change in length. Now you want to calculate the change in length of that spring using that change in length of the spring as well as the force being applied, which is the weight. So take the mass we were using times the acceleration due to gravity, that is the force of the spring. Plot those five graphs, get your spring constants from the slope of that graph. Now that you have that spring constant, you can begin to calculate some other things like the potential energy, or in one of your questions, it's gonna say, what if you use a different mass? Something we didn't use before, with that same spring constant, how long would that cause the string to become, or what would the change in length of that string but come. So hopefully you understood everything that was going on. Those of you my students, again, if you need more help, feel free to reach out to me and I will be glad to help you out.